Greetings and welcome back carnivores to Carnivore Confidential. I'm Dougie the Butcher. Um, today I've got a piece of beef tenderloin that uh, a friend of mine picked up for me on sale a while back. It's been in the freezer so I took it out and thawed it and uh, I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to denude it today, show you how to do that and uh, I'm going to go take you over to the carcass map and show you exactly where the, piece, the beef tenderloin comes from and why it's so tender. Um, then for my dinner tonight, uh, my sister's here for the weekend, so uh, we're going to have a bit of a special meal tonight. I'm going to take a piece of tenderloin, and I'm going to cut it so that it lays out flat. Um, you don't need to pound it, it's way too tender for that. Um, and then we're going to stuff it with some, uh, just, a, just a plain old bread stuffing. Roll it up, tie it, and roast it off. So uh, get ready for that. So I'll see you at the carcass map. Stay hungry, you guys. All right, folks, here we are back at the carcass map. Um, just wanted to show you where the tenderloin comes from. This is the tenderloin here, right here. This area deals with uh, what you can do with it. And it comes from here. Inside the, uh, the uh, carcass itself, it's a muscle that lays flat against the bones at the top. And uh, it doesn't do any work in life and that's why it's so tender. Uh, it's not used for mobility, it's not used for support. Um, it's just a, 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 fl a, a true floating muscle and it does really nothing in life. That's why it's, like, again, so tender. Now, um, this is what it looks like when it first comes out of the carcass. It's uh, covered in some fat and silver skin. This is what it looks like when you denude it or take all the, all the uh, natural fat covering off in the silver skin. And then this is a short tenderloin here with the butt tenderloin, the butt portion cut off. The butt portion is often in restaurants referred to as Chateaubriand, which uh, I guess I'm not really sure of the direct translation, but uh, it just basically means tenderloin for two. Uh, so that's the butt portion right there, and uh, these the uh, the center can be cut into fast fry steaks or um, you know regular steaks, grilling steaks. Uh, there's uh, but in 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 the case of tonight, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this text section right here. This is a roast. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it and uh, sort of lay, lay it open, not just in half. I'm going to cut it through probably two or three times so it lays flat, and then I've got a bread stuffing that my sister made. And uh, then we're going to roll that up and tie it up and roast it off. So uh, come on back for that. I'll show you how I do that. Thanks for uh, coming by and stay hungry, guys. All right, welcome back, folks. Uh, here we are with the uh, complete uh, beef tenderloin. As I told you, um, I'm going to uh, bring you in closer for a close-up shot when I actually start working on this. But I just wanted to show you what the, ten the whole tenderloin looked like. Uh, this is it. It's a tapered muscle. It goes from a thick end to a very thin end right here, which makes it difficult sometimes to cut steaks because the steaks get smaller and smaller as you go towards this end. But um, be that as it may, I'm going to take all the fat off of here. I'm going to take all the silver skin off of here, which will essentially make it denuded. Denuded means void of natural covering. So I mean, a bald head could be a denuded head if you wanted to look at it that way. Uh, just in the Webster Dictionary, de the definition of denuded just simply means void of natural covering. Anyway, my dog is barking in the background. Please forgive me for that. Uh, I'm going to move the camera angle so that you can have a close-up view of what I'm doing. All right? Stick around. All right. Move the camera angle, obviously, so you can see better what I'm doing. You can better see what I'm doing, rather. And uh, let's just get busy here. There's a chain right here. See it peels apart right here. I'm going to be taking this piece completely off and using it later for uh, stewing beef. Or uh, sorry, stewing uh, for um, uh, ground beef. All right, so I'm just going to cut down through here and then we're going to remove this chain and set it aside. This end piece here is known as the shadow brion or the butt portion of the tenderloin. Um, simply means tenderloin for two. Um, in, well, I'm not sure if that's the direct French translation, as I said before downstairs, I'm not sure, but uh, uh, I know on a restaurant menu, if you see Chateaubriand, it's typically, typically means a, uh, slice, a, a tenderloin roast for two. Okay, there's a heavy knob of fat right here that we're going to get rid of. Then we're going to turn this over. All right, so we are just continuing to remove the fat. Without removing too much of the lean meat. 
obviously it's tenderloin, it's very expensive. Now for the silver side, I'm going to slip my knife underneath here. And then angle it upwards. Angle it upwards. And remove this silver skin. You get a plate to get this stuff out of my way. And there you have it, folks. I am going to remove this, this end for a roast for future. I'm going to use this portion right here for my dinner tonight, which I'm going to stuff with a bread stuffing. And then these, these ones are going to be cut into steaks, not too thick. Now, as you get down to this tapered end here, as I said, the steaks get smaller and smaller, you see? What you can do is you can butterfly these last couple of steaks so that they end up like so. And this little piece is going to be beef stew. All right, so folks, that pretty much finishes that. Just let me wash up for a second here. I'm gonna back out so we can close this up. But before I go, before I go, I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do with this piece right here for my dinner tonight. I'm going to um, open it up, but open it up in such a way that it will lay kind of flat. So I'm going to make one slice like so, and make another slice like so. And then I've got a nice flat opening that we can stuff and roll for my dinner tonight. All right, so there's no need to pound this because it is oh so tender. And if you pound it, you'll probably just break it apart. All right, so I'm going to uh, back out, finish this up. Bear with me. All right, folks, that's it for uh, today. Um, we've got a nice roast right here, Chateaubriand, tenderloin for two. Um, I've got my um, my uh, piece of tenderloin that I opened up so that we can stuff for later with a bread stuffing. I've got my steaks. One of them was butterflied. I've got a pile of ground beef here and a little bit of stew. All right, folks, uh, every Thursday at 6 o'clock, I upload a new video. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, it means a, great, means a great deal to me. And uh, we'll see you next Thursday at 6 o'clock for another upload. In the meantime, stay hungry. Dougie the Butcher, out.